Oasis. This one was made 10 years later and it's just called Oasis. She's a smaller block, slightly smaller. Much she's much narrower. The original had I had much more stone to play with. <coughs> I told you every sculpture has a story. This one at least has several. You see, notice I was telling you about the breaks. Mm -hmm. You see, that's a broken surface. Because I knew I was carving this surface, I set up a break to be where I needed it. And then I never touch that again. That becomes sacred to me. So I had this whole thing was split out with a drill. And I, so I had big movements of stone going this way, and I had big splits out here, and big, a number of big splits out here. The whole, and all the movement was happening. And one of the Italian artisans came out to the back where I was working and washing his hands. And we stood looking at it. Come here and look at this movement down the whole body. Come and see. You see this, all this, boom, boom, boom. <clears throat> that was all happening, even in his rough out stage. And I said to the guy, isn't she beautiful, just like this? And he said, yes, she is. I said, I should leave it just like that. Just drill hole out. And he said, you can't, you're too young. You gotta finish it. <laughs> so, but anyway, by then I was at, at this stage of wanting to do the metamorphic thing mm -hmm. from the very crude block at the bottom to crude things. Here, once again, I have a, a split surface. I see, yeah. <clears throat> exactly where I wanted it. I was interested in making, see Italy was the, 